Hello. This is the Cambridge English Starters Listening Sample Test. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Here's a photo of me and my friends in the park, Miss Box. Oh, yes. Who's that? The boy with the cats. His name's Pat. He's holding one cat in his arms. Pat loves animals. That's good. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. There's a girl here too. She's behind the pear tree. Yes, she's funny. Her name's Lucy. And what's Lucy doing behind that tree? Sorry, I don't know. Playing a game? Two. And there's Jill. She's got some bread in her hand. Is she giving it to the ducks? Yes. Jill loves ducks. Me too. Three. That's a great kite. Yes, that's Dan's kite. Is Dan the boy in the red t shirt? Yes, that's right. Four. One person is reading. What's her name? The girl with the book. Yes. That's my friend Anne. Reading is Anne's favourite hobby. Five. And what's that boy's name? The boy on the bike. That's Nick. Nick's in my class at school. Oh, he's got a nice bike. I know. It's new. He loves it. Now listen to part one again. One. There's a girl here too. She's behind the pear tree. Yes, she's funny. Her name's Lucy. And what's Lucy doing behind that tree? Sorry, I don't know. Playing a game? Two. And there's Jill. She's got some bread in her hand. Is she giving it to the ducks? Yes. Jill loves ducks. Me too. Three. That's a great kite. Yes, that's Dan's kite. Is Dan the boy in the red t shirt? Yes, that's right. Four. One person is reading. What's her name? The girl with the book. Yes. That's my friend Anne. Reading is Anne's favourite hobby. Five. And 
What's that boy's name? The boy on the bike. That's Nick. Nick's in my class at school. Oh, he's got a nice bike. I know. It's new. He loves it. That is the end of part one. Part two. Look at the picture. Listen and write a name or a number. There are two examples. Hello, I'm new in class. What's your name, please? Kim. Is that K I M? Yes, Kim. How old are you, Kim? I'm eight today. Eight today? Happy birthday! Thank you. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. What's your family name, please? It's Wall. W A L L. Wall. <laughs> That's my name too. Is it? Yes. Two. Where do you live, Kim? In Sun Street. Sun Street. Yes, S U N. It's behind the zoo. Oh yes. Three. What number's your house? It's fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, is it that house with the big garden? Yes, it is, and it's got a pink door. Four. What have you got in your bag? Apples for my horse. I go to see him with my friend. What's your horse's name? Tiger. That's T I G E R. Tiger. Yes, it's a funny name for a horse, but I like it. Five. How old is your horse? He's seven. Seven. Yes, and he can run and jump. Great. Now listen to part two again. One. What's your family name, please? It's Wall. W A L L. Wall. <laughs> That's my name too. Is it? Yes. Two. Where do you live, Kim? In Sun Street. Sun Street. Yes. S U N. It's behind the zoo. Oh yes. Three. What number's your house? It's fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, is it that house with the big garden? Yes, it is, and it's got a pink door. Four. What have you got in your bag? Apples for my horse. I go to see him with my friend. What's your horse's name? Tiger. That's T I G E R. Tiger. Yes, 
It's a funny name for a horse, but I like it. Five. How old is your horse? He's seven. Seven? Yes, and he can run and jump. Great. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Now listen and look. There is one example. What animal has Alex got in his bedroom? Mom, Alex has got an animal in his bedroom. What is it? A fish? No, a lizard. Can I have one? Okay, but please don't ask for a snake. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which picture are May and Sam looking at? This picture's nice, Sam. Who's in it? Mum, my grandpa and my cousin Tom. Where's your dad and your grandma? They're not in this picture, May. Two. What are Mrs. Good's class doing this afternoon? Where are your class this afternoon, Mrs. Good? At their swimming lesson? No, they're in the playground. Are they playing football? Not today. They're taking photos for our class book. Three. What is Mum's favourite fruit? Mum, can we have this coconut? Well, they're very nice, but I can't open them. What about these oranges? OK, they're my favourites. And let's have this pineapple, too. Four. Which dog is Anna's? Is that your dog, Anna? No, my dog's dirty. Is it young? Yes. My brother's dog is that old one. Five. What is Lucy wearing? Lucy, your skirt's on the bed. Thanks, Mom, but I don't want it. I'm wearing my jeans. And your new T-shirt? Yes, it's great. Now listen to part three again. One. Which picture are May and Sam looking at? This picture's nice, Sam. Who's in it? Mum, my grandpa and my cousin Tom. Where's your dad and your grandma? They're not in this picture, May. Two. What are Mrs Good's class doing this afternoon? Where are your class this afternoon, Mrs Good? At their swimming lesson? No, they're in the playground. Are they playing football? Not today. They're taking photos for our class book. Three. What is Mum's favourite fruit? Mum, can we have this coconut? Well, they're very nice, but I can't open them. What about these oranges? OK, they're my favourites. And let's have this pineapple, too.
four. Which dog is Anna's? Is that your dog, Anna? No, my dog's dirty. Is it young? Yes, my brother's dog is that old one. Five. What is Lucy wearing? Lucy, your skirt's on the bed. Thanks, Mom, but I don't want it. I'm wearing my jeans. And your new T-shirt? Yes, it's great. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen, and look. There is one example. Look, it's the girl's birthday today. I can see lots of balloons. I've got my pencils here. Can I color one? Yes. A balloon is next to the photo of the family. Color that one, please. Okay. What color? Make the balloon next to the photo red. Can you see the red balloon next to the photo? This is an example. Now you listen, and color. One. Color the balloon in the small boy's hand now. Sorry, the balloon in the boy's hand. Yes. Have you got a yellow pencil? Yes, I have. Great. Color it with that pencil then. Two. And can you see a balloon between the boxes? Yes. Well done. Color that balloon now, please. What color for the balloon between the boxes? Would you like to color it pink? Yes. Three. Now, color the balloon under the table. The balloon under the table. Okay. You can choose the color. Green. I love that color. Me too. Four. There's a balloon on the chair. Find that one, please. I can see it. Good. Make that balloon brown. Okay. I'm coloring that balloon, the one on the chair, now. Great. Five. And which balloon can I color now? The one behind the cat. Color that balloon. Can I make it orange? Yes. Thank you. Now listen to part four again. One. Color the balloon in the small boy's hand now. Sorry, the balloon in the boy's hand. Yes. Have you got 
A yellow pencil? Yes, I have. Great. Color it with that pencil then. Two. And can you see a balloon between the boxes? Yes. Well done. Color that balloon now, please. What color for the balloon between the boxes? Would you like to color it pink? Yes. Three. Now, color the balloon under the table. The balloon under the table? Okay. You can choose the color. Green. I love that color. Me too. Four. There's a balloon on the chair. Find that one, please. I can see it. Good. Make that balloon brown. Okay. I'm coloring that balloon, the one on the chair, now. Great. Five. And which balloon can I color now? The one behind the cat. Color that balloon. Can I make it orange? Yes. Thank you. That is the end of the starter's listening test.